Yesterday, the new power party again proved itself a force to be reckoned with, as its best-known lawmaker, Huang Guochang, mobilized tens of thousands of people in a Taipei rally. Within the ranks of this new but mighty third party, some call for cutting ties with the DPP in the 2020 election. They say the new power party should field its own candidates for president and vice president. A proposal on the matter goes up for discussion in a party committee on Wednesday. It's a rally led by a YouTube celebrity and a new power party legislator. Marchers in white shirts have turned out in droves. Also present were top officials of the DPP, including Party Secretary General Luo Wenjia, who called for unity. We support Tsai Ing-wen's re-election. I believe that our support is not for her as an individual, but for the values that she represents. When it comes to resisting China and defending Taiwan, we must not allow our numbers to be divided. It is my hope that the rally we're having today and the specific appeals we are lodging today won't be appropriated by any political party for its own 2020 campaign. It is my hope that our appeals today can become concrete actions that we take in 2019. Huang has stepped down as chairman of the new power party, but the turnout on Sunday proved he could still mobilize a crowd. Last week, lawmaker Xu Yongming proposed that the new power party nominate its own candidates for the 2020 presidential race. DPP lawmakers urge against the proposal, which goes up for discussion at a new power party meeting on Wednesday. If we were to unite, we would be doing it to fight against annexation. Is it necessary to divide our forces? That's something to consider deeply. This week, the new power party will weigh its next move, which could have far-reaching ramifications on the DPP's strategy for 2020.